Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Diva Daddy, and this is a safe space for Diva Stands and... See what I did there? We love some foreshadowing. And nobody else. And today, oh my god, guys. I'm sure you've all seen the news. You've all seen the headlines. You've all seen the tweets on Twitter. Hold on. She's back! This is my house give me lady gaga did you miss me miss soraya jade beavis fka page is back and honestly i couldn't be happier on this past week's episode of aw dynamite or was it was it, what was it called aw aw grand slam miss soraya fk page made her aew debut and gagged millions watching around the world in june she made the announcement that her contract was expiring with wwe and that she will not be resigning they're not resigning her honestly i was sad because it's like we all know Paige's story she had an iconic come up from fcw to nxt to her winning the diva championship on her first night having a little hot potato action with aj during her first main roster run until eventually injuries started catching up with her until you know the infamous night where i'm not even going to mention names stuff happened and Paige had to retire from in-ring action so heartbreaking she then became general manager and then after that role it was kind of stagnant for miss page she was like some kind of host on what was it called again it was something with cm punk on smackdown yeah that was i don't even think i tuned into that so fast forward to june announced that a contract expires it expires no one knows what page is doing as far as everyone's concerned page is done with wwe she did hint that she's working on getting her neck back together that she's not opposed to wrestle ever again so we just didn't know what was gonna happen until this week's aw dynamite and sis shows up and gags Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, who else was there? Serena Deeb. It was a moment. And I'm so happy. I'm happy that one of my childhood faves, like, listen, y'all, like, I got into Paige when she was in FCW, when she was facing Raquel Diaz, Audrey Marie, the anti-diva movement with Sofia Cortez. You had to be there. So, in Diva Daddy fashion, I'm gonna do an emergency creation and create her in WWE 2K22. Now, it was a weird omission how they just, you know, didn't put Paige in. Um, I'm gonna assume it's kind of like a similar situation with the Bella Twins. I know Nikki Bella said something about they didn't reach out to her to get scanned or anything. And I think I read somewhere that there was something if you weren't around for like contract signing like you weren't going to be in the game period so i'm guessing Paige was in that boat she just wasn't around so Paige did not get included in 2k22 and i guess it's fair enough to say that she'll never be in another wwe game again unless she magically decides to resign with the company which i thought you know she probably would have had a fair chance knowing that triple h is in charge now and triple h was one of the first people that were you know high on page and, and granted her the opportunities that launched her career first nxt women's champion hello get into it let's get started on making her in wwe 2k22 the diva daddy way all right boom so we're gonna kick things off with her face texture now i already have two photos booted up into photoshop if you want to see how i got here you can check out my how i create cause in 2k22 featuring wendy chu that's where i created her you can click that video in the description below but things change Evolution happens. I've evolved since that video and I have a whole new way. Like even some of the stuff I said in that video, I kind of take back what I said. I have a whole new method of creating textures now by following this one tutorial that I discovered on YouTube. And I'm happy. So these are the first two photos that I have booted up now. I got these off her Twitter and Instagram. Mind you, when I went to go do some research to go find images of her, um, why did she delete all of her social media posts? I guess she's starting fresh as Soraya, but need reference pics girl also aw did release an official render and i just ran that through remini if y'all don't know what remini is once again you can check in my creating wendy chu video it's literally how i enhance every face photo that i use to create all of my cause airdrop it there we go and just drag it in to photoshop there we go let me just align it with the rest of the photos that i have Okay, so now this new method for making textures is I get a frontal face, whatever this angle is called, is this 90 degree or one, one, I wasn't the best at math, and then their side profile. 
Now using all three of those angles from both sides of their face, well, I, technically I just need the one side and then I just flip it and duplicate it over. I make the best texture you could possibly make. It gets all sides of their face all blended in one texture. Now where I'm gonna find a side profile picture of Paige, I don't know. I have one that she posted on Twitter, but the picture is so zoomed out. Like I did remedy it, but it kind of loses a lot of detail. Let me just airdrop it to see what it looks like right now. And do you see what I mean? Like it's not the greatest. I mean, it could work. Also Paige now has those cheekbones now. Can we also talk about like how her face is like, she's giving youth. Like she looks better than she has in years. I don't know which face texture I wanna go with. I mean, this is like her official AEW face, like right here, like the cameras are backstage and they went click, we are taking that. But then you also have this one where it has a, and like, I like details like that. Oh my God, not this article, Soraya page. I'm not going to AW anytime soon. AW seems great. I love AW. And when was this? July 31st, 2020, bitch. I'm not good. And that's probably when she signed to you little sneak. Yeah, we want this one. Ooh, don't make that wig. It was giving Michael Annie. It was giving Michael Anka or no. Now allow Mia to create some borders and guidelines, right? So this is the top of her head. This is the bottom of her chin. This is where her lip ends. Uh, this is where the corner of her eye starts. Let's see what it's giving. All right, children. Okay, and also I don't want to make her too white. And when I tell you 2K be bleaching out cause, like you have to make your face textures like dark if you want like a good complexion. Because even if I were to leave it like this, even she will look like she's about to go on the this is it tour. All right. Is that the face texture that we're going with, y'all? I don't know. Should be? Did you put Kate over? Is it giving Paige Yanni? Is it giving Paige Yanka or no? Let's do some select and mask. Let's, the nose, lips. So what I did right there was essentially just flip, flip the girl. Is it giving Paige? Is it giving? Okay, let's save this so my computer doesn't break down and ruin my life. You see, you see how you just duplicating the face over one half of the face, duplicate to the other side, and then you just layer mask it and just mask out the side of the face that makes it unique. Because I will admit a lot of people with cause and face textures, they literally just duplicate one side and flip it over. Like not everyone's face is symmetrical. And if you want your cause looking as realistic as possible, you do exactly like this. If there's trademark features, if someone has a lazy eye, a lopsided eye, an eyebrow that's higher than the other, nose, lips, something. Not everyone's face is perfectly symmetrical. So if you have someone inside of their face and they have a defining feature or something that separates it from the other side, duplicate the perfect half, the half that has the most cheekbone, the half that has the most surface area over to the other side and then just mask out the parts that you need. So I masked out her eyebrow, eye, nose, lips, but her cheek is still there and snatched and sitting pretty. Delete this from her face, perfect. And now this is where the magic happens, y'all. This is where you make a wide ass face texture. Okay, not white, wide. So do the same thing on the face layer, adding a layer mask or vector mask, whatever this, I thought it was a layer mask. It's a vector mask, no? okay. And then just get your black brush and just paint, erase, 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 erase her eye. Okay, see, that's what we didn't want to do. Even her forehead, get rid of that because we have a lot of forehead area here erase up there and we can always go back in with white and correct the areas that we need to correct i'm just pressing x and swapping quickly between my black and white and going in and refilling and then erasing again let me take down the brightness because that's what's confusing me a bit here get a little bit more saturation because it is giving paleana There we go. See how it's starting to blend nicely already? Cause we want those prominent cheeks. With this method on capturing all the sides of the face, see how there's like that hairline there? 
That can be annoying if you have a hairstyle and the hairline doesn't call for it. Or sometimes it sits too low on the forehead. So you need to get rid of some. Now there's definitely areas I need to go and color correct, but baby steps, baby steps. The white up here is just irritating the crap out of me. I can't wait to go back and fix it. So to do some slight color correction, I'm gonna take a new layer, name it color correction and change the overlay to color and go ham. All I did was sample a part of her forehead where I want the same color to be and then just kind of paint over it. Like that, see, and it's no longer white. You see the difference. I think that side of her face is complete and all I'm gonna do is just duplicate all the layers that I did um, and flip it and duplicate it and just flip it over to the other side of her face. Ooh, that looks creepy as fuck. Just drag it and see how well it aligns. Ooh. Don't make that face. I think right there is muy bonito. Now go in and make more adjustments. Playing with the mask. Like you just gotta keep playing and fiddling with that mask until you get what you want. Do not be afraid to experiment on me. I'm looking at her hairline at the top of her head there. I might just erase part of the mask that's all the way up there. Just because I really don't want any kind of interference with whatever wig I decide to put on her because the hairlines be looking funky sometimes. Now I can keep that little widow's peak she got going on. That's kind of like a page trademark, so I'm not gonna play with that. All right, so here I have a duplicate layer. Now I'm just gonna hide everything in a folder. Now that we got the base of her face texture made, all that's left to do really now is just enhance and fix and make some minor slight adjustments. Let's start with the butt of her chin. She has like a dimple in her chin. We're gonna shift that over because as you can see, it's not directly centered. And that's how we do a little plastic surgery and then that's how we shift chin dimples all right now let's play with some lighting shall we so this is how i do lighting i learned this in school graphic design class bomb bomb so make a new layer i do fill 50 percent gray i think i want to make her eyebrows a little bit darker make it overlay and then get a brush make it black and white so black make stuff darker as you can see it's like saturated and then light makes it overexposed all right so i like to use this tool when it comes to the eyebrows you see that it's like i'm filling in her eyebrow and then you can shrink it as soon as you go smaller just detail bam cute Let's get rid of some highlights now. Now I know I said in my Wendy Chu video that get rid of all highlights. I take that back. You need highlights or else your car gonna be looking like Play-Doh. And we don't want that. So how I get rid of highlights is basically just like I showed you in my Wendy video, sample a color of the skin of the area you want. So let's do her nose because the nose is the most problem area when it comes to highlights and all kinds of messy shit. Get your brush, make sure the opacity is not too high. Let's set it to 28 and see how that looks and just color over where you see any highlights like so. Just go over some areas like her cheeks, her lips, above the lip as well. Just you know, take that brush and just work your magic we can also make things a little brighter so we'll go back to our adjustment layer back to our layer four here let's name it brightness 
and just switch it to white make that open now the exposure on that is so bright so make sure it's not all the way and just lighten up the areas you want do the inner corner try to think what other dark areas under her lip here underneath the lips and nose tend to be really bright with face textures depending on what texture you're using and where the light source is but some shadow was not bad some shadow was good i think she's pretty much good to go uh, what we're gonna do now is the neck here we are going to make let's see how this goes Gonna select this entire neck and shadow area. This is not really necessary for the face texture, it's just that when you do this route, when it comes to making face textures, you can create like a little shadow mess underneath her chin, and then you can kind of see it underneath the cause chin when it comes to like the positioning of the height of the face texture. Let's see if content or fill will work. Don't make that face. Oh, okay, it didn't come out too bad. Just make cute adjustments like that. Once again, this part is not really necessary since it's literally not part of the face texture at all. It's just making your textures look a little prettier, a little bit more presentable. This part is weirding me out. Let me edit those peanut butter cookie fork presses. All right, and I think literally the last step is to enhance so what you're gonna do is just duplicate your layer go to filter high pass slide it to whatever you seem fit when it comes to the details so whatever like details are highlighted so you can start from zero and just inch your way so we want a lot of skin texture eyebrow texture lip texture the dimple on her chin. So once you figure out how much of the high pass you want, just go to blending options and then overlay. And boom, look at how all her features pop. Do we like it? Do we love it? You can see that her skin has texture, her eyebrows have texture, and you can literally just edit the opacity. So before, after, before, after. So we don't need to have it too strong, but I think here's good. Let me just add my watermark now. Period, period. Watermark setting pretty. Save. All right, so I have 2K22 booted up now and it's time to get started on creating Miss Soraya Jade Be I don't know why I always have to say Soraya Jade Beavis. I have to get used to just calling her Soraya. By the way, is it Soraya or Soraya? And what is she? Is she a striker or a technician? But she like stomps. What do we label her as? We're gonna make her a technician, okay. No persona. Oop, let's give her her name. It's literally just Soraya. And I was thinking about the call name because they definitely do not have this name. And it's just literally her social media name is just Soraya. Like, how cunty is that? How could you not say Like, that's good. Like, but her call name, we're just going to call her Sarah. <gasps> oh, bitch. This is going to look good. Just duplicate that over. Just... I wish we could zoom into the face texture so we can really get, like, the alignment. Just duplicate that over. I'm not too sure how that nose is lining up though, I will say. You can always go back and morph after. Just getting it to where it needs to be is kind of the trick for now. I feel that this is gonna need like a lot of morphing. And I'm down. Her luscious lips and her chin has a very unique face. It's very square. Y'all, I'm not feeling it. It's not It's not giving me what I need. it needs to give. It's not giving Paige. I don't know who it's giving, but it's not Paige. Okay, this is only the first morph anyway, so we shall see how she evolves. That hair, I'm literally traumatized from that Eva Marie hairstyle. The trauma? The trauma is far too much. Okay, let's see these eyes. Her eyes are literally black. Did you miss me? Now these cheeks are what's messing me up. Now the depth. Okay, we're gonna suck those bad boys in. The fuck? Height? I don't know, y'all. 
I don't even remember the last time I created Paige. I didn't think Paige was gonna be that hard to make. I was gonna go with this hairstyle. <clears throat> uh, kinda don't like the way it looks. It just doesn't look like her. The face texture I feel like is fine when it comes to the colors and everything, but it's just everything else. I'm back. It's been a little bit of time between this clip and the last one, but we're back. Um, I did a few little minor adjustments, minor adjustments with Miss Soraya. You're gonna see her new face in a couple of minutes. She went under the knife. I just realized I don't have any tattoos for her. And she is one that's covered in tattoos. She got a couple. Oh my God, I gotta see. Hey, <laughs> So the biggest tattoo that Miss Soraya has is her big giant sternum tattoo. And I'm just looking at it right now. What is, is that a is it a, a hydrangea? Is that what those are flowers called? The flowers that look like pussies? So she has that tattoo. What other visible oh she has that tattoo. What other visible tattoos does this thing have? Oh. Ooh, don't make that tattoo. The talk shit get bit one. Those are I think she said she regrets those tattoos, but you know what? They're on you, babes. And we're gonna have to put them on you. So those are on the sides of your hands. Oh my god, not this total diva episode. This was iconic. Could you imagine if she actually followed through with this tattoo? Wasn't it Natty? Natty convinced her. She's like, you're gonna lose your job. Can't do that. Queen of momming. Oh, she also has a thumb. She has like a, um, I'm gonna call it a mandalia. What is it called again? A mandalia was the name of one of my teachers in high school. Mandala. Mandala, that's what it's called. Yeah, right. I hope I'm not offending anybody. Ooh, child, not the pics with Alberto Dario. Get out. Her thumbs. Oh, here's one. That's the one she got it. Oh, wait, that's the tattoo that she got instead, right? After Natty co <laughs> convinced her not to. She's like, I just got this on my thumbs. So here we go. We got the tattoos booted up. Now, once again, do not come for my Photoshop process. Everyone does shit differently, okay? And I'm open to tips if, you know, they make my life a little easier. Actually, no, I, no, I'm not open to tips. No, I'm not. So this is what I do. I cut both of them out or just copy them. And let me just make a new file. Enlarge these and let's do select, color range. I think that's good. Okay, now maybe we can do a little more. Okay, I think that's good enough to be honest. It's gonna be literally microscopic on our hands. There you go. Talk shit, get bit. Even though I don't even, like what even was the point of this tattoo? I think she said she regrets them. So like, now I have the right to drag them. Cause usually when people get tattoos, I'm like, go on and be great. Even though inside I'm like, but now that she regrets them herself, like, girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Okay, let's just cut this out as neatly Oh, that was a good line, but like I can't bring my mouse. Oh, oh, watch me. Oh, watch me. Watch me. Oh, watch me. Watch me. Now I'm a bop, 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 bop. Oh, we kind of ate that. We ate the whole culture. We ate the society. We ate that. We ate it. We ate it. If you wanna come and get it, I'm ready for the taking you wanted me for. Okay, singing, speaking of singing entrance themes, what do we think about Paige's new theme? Comment below your thoughts. Isn't it by her man, Ronnie Radike? Oh shit, I might get canceled for that. So step out of the way if you wanna come and get it. Is that cute? Does that match her skin? There's her little sternum tattoo. We're going to save that. All right. So now we got 2K booted up back again. What's up, 2K? Long time no see. Oh. <gasps> Does it look like her, y'all? Okay, so this is the get bit hand, correct? Oh, great. Now I have to shuffle through all of my custom images. Waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Time goes by. So slowly. <gasps> Found them. Okay. And I swear to God, if I go down to her hand, there's a weird glitch that doesn't even allow me to pop. Uh. Oh my God, why does it look like that? I can't even see properly to start. Like it's mirrored. No ads, I'm gonna say, no ads. Okay, you know what I'll try to do? So I'm gonna put it right, and I'm going to apply a flesh colored logo to cover the mirrored part because that's what we have to do in these certain circumstances playing these kind of video games. 
Yes, see, it worked. Can't even notice it. There you go. Get bit. Okay, sternum time. We're gonna be creating her AW debut outfit. Actually, I'm gonna make two attires. I'm gonna give her her AW, what she wore on her debut, and then I'm just gonna give her a random page outfit. I'm gonna do this top. All right, cute. Leather. The thing is, with group images in this game, like once you save them, it freezes your game. You have to like quit your, literally quit the game, which I think is what I'm about to do because I'm not about making 300 logos just to make this one strap. All right, so boom. Okay, now I have to like perfectly line up. Like I wish there were like guides. This kind of like group image thing makes me reminiscent of Paint Tool back in the early Smackdown Rug games, which I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Well, girl, I was living. Okay, I think that's kind of perfect. Accept. Do you see what I mean? How it's just like an infinite loop of death. So we're going to be quitting. Back to where we just finished off. Appearance. Tattoos, horse, images. And that's exactly how it's going to be looking. And I'm fine with that blends in with the top ever so slightly and i'm happy and then the boots you know Paige's iconic doc martens have been in the game since 2k15 i didn't know she was wearing like the Jaden ones like the ones i have but we ain't got options like that we don't got Jaden money in 2k22 but i just make them leather to give some kind of texture to them because they're kind of dull okay what jackets do we have i think we have a lot of jackets that are in this style in this game to be quite honest we have this one but there's no spikes on the arms. I think we want spikes. That's Tony Jacket from last game, right? I think I might use this one. Yeah, I think this is the hottest option. Oh, it's only available for entrances. Okay. That's good enough. 2K really gotta put some new chains in the game, I will say. Cute. I think she's ready for battle. <sighs> Y'all. I think we're back for the final time. I think. Now I'm finally finished Miss Soraya, her AW model. And she's been under the knife a grand total of three times. I had to take a week to decompress, just clear my mind, clear my vision, clear my energy, and come back to it and remorph the bitch. Y'all, the results? Chef's kiss. Let's get into her. Bam. Here she is. Fresh new morph. So basically the issue with the first morph, I want to say, was that I made the face texture too big. So like, you know, when you first place it and you're just figuring out the sizing, I had it too zoomed in. So like she had a giant ass face. So I just did my best and this was the final outcome. What do y'all think? <laughs> Go get her on Community Creations. We become the walking dead. And y'all didn't get just one. Y'all got two, three. But here's the second one. So this is just Paige. I guess you can consider this like her little comeback era in 2017, you know, with the big fat red juicy lips. And the second attire is just, you know, her iconic pentagram look with gray ombre hair. Very simple. Ta-da. And her entrance look is just wearing her iconic jacket. And there you have it. And now the third and final page. Now this one is my favorite. I'm going to be honest, like other than my Soraya and page, like this is the favorite one I made. And it's 2013 NXT page. Made her paler than ever. I remorphed her face slightly, made her, yeah, so I made her more paler and then remorphed her face a little slightly just, you know, because she had baby fat back then. She wasn't so, you had to be there. I just love her with the entrance jacket. It just gives me that buzz. Oof, I love that jacket. This is literally my favorite page jacket. I just love the structure of it. And it's just so detailed. Like, you know, other 2K girly giving jackets like this that are nice and form fitting and cunt. So this is she. And her second attire, based on the night she became the inaugural NXT Women's Champion when she defeated Ember. Gave her a different makeup look for this one. This is my favorite page. She was what, like 20, 21, 20? Yeah, she was busting her shit up in NXT. Breaking bitches' faces. Yeah!
Ah, we love the anti diva. We love. All right, so we're gonna be wrestling in her street clothes because she doesn't have rain gear yet. We still don't even know if she's going to be having rain gear. Here she comes. I don't even know how her new theme goes. Yeah, Miss Ray Ray. Not to be excited when the superstar is in the ring. A competitor backslide. Packslide already to kick off the match. So what do we think AEW is going to make of Soraya? Now, it's to be honest, it's pretty fresh to see her in a new company. Her second week in AEW, she finally spoke on the mic. She stepped to Britt Baker. It was just fresh to see, like, Britt Baker have someone with her stature, Soraya's, to step to her and, you know, go one-on-one -on -one with her. Yes, she was a little rusty. Paige is a top star, y'all. She's a top competitor. This is just, like, a Daniel Bryan, to me, at least. This is like a Daniel Bryan, a John Moxley stepping in the company and fucking things up. So, this ain't no Tony Storm or Ruby Riot or Athena. Okay. Yeah! Mmm, come back. Exactly. Boom. Ate that super kick up. Yeah! Headbutt. This was my favorite move in 2K15 to pull off the. Pow, pow, pow. Mmm. Page Turner. Mmm. Rampage, rampage, rampage. Picks her up. Oh! Soraya have Baker. One, two. Oh. Just like that. Now, will that happen? Who knows? I don't know what the payoff is with Miss Page up in this company. What's going on? Yes, entrance. Victory motion. Knight Rider. Don't know the inspiration for that name. All right, now I got a little bit of absolution action. Taking on Sasha. Sasha. How did Page say her name? Sasha. Sasha. Sasha, Sasha. Okay, let me stop. The following contest is scheduled for. Yeah, this is her house, baby. Making her way to the ring from Norwich, England. Paige. The arena uh, buzzing, social media is buzzing. A big fight feel and a main event level match. Yeah. Let's go, Sasha. Mmm, headbutt. Mmm, headbutt. Mm. Also, the amount of unique moves that Paige has, thanks to her 2K, 2K15, I think. Yeah, that's when she literally. Her, that's when she got her DLC. And they gave her all her unique moves. Pow. The iconic knees. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah! Oof, a brutal ass knee. Oh! Oh! An attack from the back of the head. Yes, yeah, short arm clotheslines, another iconic page move. Mmm. Like, honestly, like, playing with her, her actual model, and just hitting moves like that and hitting her taunt afterwards was so fun. I miss it. I'm never going to get it again. Fall away slam. Another trademark. Mmm. This is, what's the, this is my house taunt. This is not, okay. Ooh, a page turner. Where's the super kick? Ooh. Let's see if we can end things with the PTO page tap out. 
And I'm gonna be honest, like this was a this was an interesting move when she did it. Like it was a tribute to Bull Nakano, I believe. And what other girls had badass submission holds like uh. And you're done, Sasha. Look at Mandy and Sonia. Yeah, my cheerleaders were absolution. Now we're about to have one more match as my personal favorite, 2013 page, taking on AJ. This old arena, wow, the nostalgia. Yes, we love an NXT Women's Champion. Now, this part specifically of her entrance, I never understood it because I don't think she okay this part. Like, I don't think she did that ever. And I was always wondering that when seeing her 2K15 entrance, she that's where she got the title and then did the whoosh, yeah, but never like kneeling on the rope. Come up below if she did that kneeling on the rope. My two faves, let's go. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. No issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no, it's no giving Candace and Beth. No. But on the other end of the ring is a female with unparalleled focus. I didn't do that. A woman who is unflappable Ooh. in and out of the ring. Oh, come on. Reversal after. Oh. Okay, we're <laughs> It's like miss after reversal after miss. Finally. Eight. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Ow. Oh, and a Harakana. This is among my favorite page eras. This is when I got into her FCW page, NXT page. This was her... I almost said this was her prime, but like, she was literally, she put NXT Women's Wrestling on the map because of her. Give it up for Miss Paige. The anti-diva. She changed what it was to be a diva in developmental. PTO? Yeah, fold them legs up. As I was saying earlier, she was inspired by Bonacano, and I just thought it was like a revolutionary submission move for a woman. Add a girl. That's how you reverse. Good girl. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Ooh. And the page turner. Oh, and the page turner. Will she have it? One, two, three. Off the page, Turner. She got it. The 21 year old from Norwich, England. Oh, such an iconic night. Oh, I was 15, and I ran to my sister's room as if she cared that Paige just won the Women's Championship, Divas Championship. Sorry. And I was just so happy for her because she was my fave, and she beat my other fave. No matter how problematic Miss Soraya is, she'll always remain in my heart. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you, you know, a lot of insight into my cock creating process. How I start from literally to... If you want to keep up with me also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, at DivaDaddy. That's where I post my creation content. That's where I lie to you wrestling shows. That's where I talk my shit. So make sure to follow me on there. And of course, search Diva Daddy on Community Creations to download the Soraya and page and page 13. Diva Daddy, out.